Hi, I'm Save the Frogs founder, Dr. Kerry Krieger. Thanks, Ari, for uh, summarizing everything that's taken place. I first spoke in front of the Fish and Game Commission at the May 2010 meeting on the topic of bullfrogs. And not a lot has gotten done since then. The two major things are that in 2015, the FGC, or sorry, the DFW staff released its um, publication on the threats caused, on the problems caused by bullfrogs. I can't remember the exact name of the document, but it was very well written. And it's amazing to me that it's seven years later and there has not been any action taken other than I believe that um, long-term permits are no longer offered. It's a short-term permit. And all that really changes is that you have to apply for the permit more often. Um, but I doubt that's had any effect on the number of bullfrogs coming into the state, which is estimated, I believe, in that report at 2 million plus bullfrogs per year. So I'm glad the stakeholder meeting meetings took place and that we did get some good discussions. But my main concern when I was asked to join them in 2018, when the FGC requested that the stakeholder process um, go forward, was that it would take a lot of time and we already had so much information about the problem. And I'm sure that people can think of ways to solve it and if someone actually acts on that. So here it is 2022. And my main reason for speaking right now is just so that everybody is fully aware that this process is nearly four years in. And, and based on that, that can we please speed it up and if that means that every time there's a meeting, it's on the agenda, then I like that. If it means that the people who organize the meetings should organize a meeting every month to get it done, then I like that. What I don't like is years passing by just to get this input, which we heard from Ari is not even in its final state. So the other thing, um, I'll, I'll be fast to finish this off. Ari mentioned that there are resources needed by the department to do what needs to get done to fix the bullfrog problem. And for me, a simple thing that the department does have control over and that it would be hard for them to say that they cannot do it because I've seen it done before for other species is they can raise the price of the permits. Currently, the bullfrog importations are subsidized by the California taxpayers. The reason I say that is because we know how much it costs to apply for a permit and we know how many permits get issued and we can determine how much money therefore is coming in to pay for all of this that needs to get done, such as um, the permit officer reviewing those, the game, fish and game wardens enforcing the bullfrog rules at the point of sale, uh, the holding of stakeholder meetings, and then the stuff that's harder to calculate, such as the ecological damage. There's only a very small amount of money coming in from the permit. So you, you all could easily raise the permit price, and that's going to reduce the number of bullfrogs. And there's nothing wrong with that, because let's also be clear, American bullfrogs are not a native species in California. So it's an invasive species recognized as one of the 100 worst invasive species in the world. That's all I have to say for now. I'm open to talk. If anyone ever wants to contact me, savethefrogs.com is the website I created. It's got about a thousand pages of amphibious info. Go to the contact page and let's continue this discussion. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. Uh, don't agree, don't disagree with anything you said. Um, so 